Hey guys, it is Tuesday today. My name is Jess. I'm Dan. And you're watching GameSpot News. Here's the things that mattered in gaming today. First up, Grand Theft Auto V is now the best-selling video game in the US. Beep, beep. Of all time. Beep, beep. Ever. Beep, beep. Thanks, Dan. During a financial briefing today, Take-Two revealed that GTA V is, quote, the all-time best-selling video game both in revenues and units based on combined US digital and physical sales across PC, console and portable, with 85 million units sold. The previous record holder was Wii Sport, which sold 82.83 million units worldwide. So good job, Rockstar. Also in the report, it was revealed that microtransaction revenue has grown 66% year on year and accounted for a whopping 48% of total net revenue. It looks like games as a service are here to stay. I didn't spend money on a game ever, you don't except spend... for the initial spend of buying the game. You don't buy DLC? No, um, which I've been told is a bad thing before. I buy expansion packs um, from time to time. Where does, but... the, where does the line end for an expansion pack? Because I... DLC these days is getting pretty pretty hefty. You've got Frozen Wilds for Horizon. Yeah. You've got uh, all the stuff for uh, the Assassin's Creed's. Usually have like cool story and yeah. bit of stuff like that. I think like, uh, and, and I don't necessarily feel like I need uh, a certain amount of hours to get out of it to um, justify my spend. But I do kind of feel like if I feel like I'm getting a media experience that I really want. Yeah. But it does make sense that if just say you know you can't afford uh, a lot of games, you get GTA Online and they're constantly giving you new stuff to do. And then when you do get a little bit of money, you want to spend it on you know the game that you've already put so many hours into. I mean, it, it totally makes sense. Would you do it? Have you done it? Have I spent money in GTA Online? Microtransactions? Yes, I have. Like Rainbow Six Siege is one of my favorite games. Okay. And I've bought charms, mm -hmm. I've bought season passes, uh, I've bought operators, I've bought it all, it's great. I've also bought loot boxes in uh, Overwatch because got to get that shirtless McCree. Unfortunately, now it's time for some sad news. Telltale Games, the developers of The Walking Dead and Tales from the Borderlands, has laid off 90 employees. These layoffs are a part of a comprehensive company restructuring and impact all divisions. All up, those 90 people make up 25% of Telltale staff. A press release indicates that the move will make the company, quote, more competitive as a developer and publisher of groundbreaking story-driven gaming experiences, with an emphasis on high quality in the years ahead. Telltale added that the projects it has announced won't be affected. The studio added that they intend to finally address the long-standing fan concern that the developer relies heavily on aging technology. Oh man, that's such good news. Our thoughts go out to those affected by the layoffs, and we do hope you land on your feet. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is almost out on Switch, and today Nintendo announced its plans to support the game post-launch. There's some good stuff in there. As it's 2017 and loot boxes have only just come into vogue, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 will be supported post-launch with new story content, new quests, and a new blade. And if you're a Japanese game purist, you'll be stoked to hear that a free day one patch will add in an optional Japanese audio track. Pretty sweet. You can grab the DLC in the $30 season pass, for which you'll get bonus support items when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launches in December. A new quest in January 2018, the aforementioned Rare Blade in spring, a challenge mode sometime next summer, and new story content next fall. No international pricing has been announced, but several bundles with the season pass have cropped up in the various regional eShops. With the game and season pass going for £77 in the UK and a whopping $134.95 here in Australia. Far out. There will also be new free Breath of the Wild DLC centered around Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which will include a side quest that once completed will unlock a costume based on Xenoblade's Rex. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is out on Nintendo Switch on December 1st. That is everything we've got for you today. Do let us know what you thought of today's stories in that comment box. Hey, and, Jess, um, yes? Are there any free games today? There's not. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, what there is, though, is the, our announcement that uh, we're doing Extra Life on November 17th. The whole of GameSpot's doing it. For 72 hours, you can watch us all play games and get delirious from a lack of sleep and too many pixels in our eyeballs. It's going to be great. Yes, uh, Australia is doing the last leg as always, so uh, you can join us for the last 24 hours. We'll make sure you have all the information beforehand. But um, yeah, should be chill. What yeah. else is going on, Dan? Not much. We'll not see, much? We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. First up, Grand Theft Auto V is now the best-selling video game in the US. Beep, beep. Of all time. Beep, beep. Ever. Beep, beep. Thanks, Dan. Dunno. It's me doing car noises. <laughs>